I started building this chicken coop. I didn't record from the very beginning because my cell's been dead. But um, I'll start recording this project tomorrow. Just to show you where I'm at right now. So here where I'm at right now is looking good. So I made this the front six feet high and the rear is five feet. Let's give you a little tour here. So I um I adopted um a couple of hens and I need to give them a proper home now. So this was a kind of of a rush, so I really didn't start recording and I didn't have my cell ready and but I will be starting this video tomorrow. I just wanted to show you where I'm at before I continue. Okay, so it's the next day. It's a wet, cold morning. Um, they said it wasn't going to rain, but good thing I did put my stuff away. So I'm setting up right now to start this project. I just came from Lowe's and purchased more material. So let's start this project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create this so I can separate the two when I want to move this. This will not be its final destination. It's just going to be in this area for the meantime. Until I figure out exactly where down the hill we're going to finally make this chicken coop. Its final destination. So I'm basically leveling it from here. And so what I could do is I could just remove these and adjust it higher up and down um, when I do move it. Right now it's leveled for this area, but when I need to put it elsewhere, I could just re-level this again. So I'm going to finish off this area here and so I can have a better idea of what I'm doing because I've never made... A chicken coop before so if I'm doing something wrong leave it in the comment I would like to know but I'm going to make this where I can separate the two and I'll show you what I mean as I'm building just to show you what I just did I put this ledge here to even this out and on here what I'm going to do is a ramp this is the back side of the coop. I need to make a door here. And I'm hearing that to make the door that it swings downward. And it's much easier to deal with the inside of the chicken coop. But here's where I'm gonna have the chickens lay their eggs in here. So for here, where my door's gonna be at, I framed it out, if you can see that. And I have it tilted about a quarter of an inch at the top. Don't know if you can see the difference from here, but it's a quarter of an inch difference tilting forward. Um, the goal is that when I open up the door, the door will just swing right down. And if you're working alone, I advise you to get some clamps. These are some old clamps I've had for years. They're Craftsmen. I paid at the time 20 bucks. Um, I don't know if you can get your hands on these anymore. You probably can, but I've had them for quite some time and I absolutely love them.
here's the door. I, nope. These hinges, they're daughter store hinges. Now I'm gonna put a piece of plywood on the inside. Then from the outside, I'll caulk everything to make sure no water is getting behind this. Then I'll paint everything later on when I have time. On this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Another big door. This is the side where I can be able to clean this chicken coop out. And right now, I'm cutting the new board that's gonna cover this side here. I cut the other side so the measurements will vary depending how big you want to make yours. So here I have this small little window um, that I had removed the basement window one time and I'm going to reuse this for the chicken coop. So I'm cutting out the size that I need. So I'm put liquid nail for the time being. My window cut out here and now I found these latches in the garage. These latches are for storm doors to hold the door open. I'm going to use it for this. I've had them for a long time so I'm using it for something. I put the window in place. I'm going to put liquid nail first and then my two latches. Let's get the liquid now. Now, just to show you where I'm at for the day. Um, I finished the door on the side. This would be the door where I could clean the chicken coop. I clean everything out. The hardware is from the daughter store. And this is the back where they will lay their eggs and I can open it up from the back so it's coming along really nice it's taking a lot longer than I expected but um it is what it is it's my first one I ever built okay so this is day three of the chicken coop um, it's taking me longer than I expected but I'm gonna continue trying to get this. Let me just get all my toys and start this coop. I also purchased some cinder blocks. I'm going to put this um, project on cinder blocks since I'm not using pressure treated wood. Here I have some rubber material. This material is the same material they use to make ponds. I'll be using this to line the bottom of the coop. So when the hens are peeing, it doesn't rot the wood. So right now I'm just laying my liner down. I'm gonna staple it on the sides and on the bottom here. I won't staple in the center 
so I don't want to pierce holes where their yarn goes through but yeah this liner I really love the material yes so I'm really liking this liner um, so the plans are in the future when I want to clean this chicken coop out I just open up that back door and I could just shovel everything out of here and then send a water hose to clean out the entire coop. Okay, got the front wall in. Got my opening. Um, 10 by 15 is the opening. And there's a gap here. That's because I'm connecting the other 4x4 side by side because this will be a two-piece unit like I said in the beginning like that I can um, relocate this later on in time so I started the other portion of the chicken coop this is where they'll be hanging outside I started my roof right now as you can see so what I do is I make one first, I fit it in place, then from there I just use this one as the template and create the other ones. And for the roof, the one that's going to be the cross beams, I'm going to take 2x4s and cut them straight down the middle. So let's turn on our table saw. So I have all my 2x4s cut straight down the middle. I'm going to center these at 16 inches. Here's a view on how it looks from up top. Now here's the vinyl panel that I'll be using for my project. This is what I'll be putting on the roof and the material's kind of cheap, but the price was not cheap. I believe they were about 20 something bucks a piece. So I woke up to a wet morning and it looks like I won't be able to do work today on the chicken coop. Yep, sorry chickies, your home's being postponed. But it'll be worth it when it's done. Okay, it's been several days now. I haven't been able to work on the chicken coop. I did do some quick modifications just to make the chickens a little more comfortable um, but I've been getting some really bad weather and I got a nice weekend so I've got to get to it. Here we go off camera what I've done was I gave this section of the chicken coop a little more slope. I'm planning on catching this rainwater and giving it back to the chickens. I'll do that a whole separate video. I'm just trying to make the chickens comfortable for now. So we took all the scrap wood that I had, just throw something up really quick. And here we have it. Not my best work, but it was just something to give these girls more comfort. Um, since then, they've laid four eggs so far. But the goal is to make them even more comfortable. So let me stop talking. Let's get to work. The goal right now today is to build a door right here in this section. 
Well, we only have two hens. One of them laid another egg this morning. All right, back to the scrap wood pile. And I choose you. So here's my door. I'm gonna put this center piece in and then I'm gonna put another piece going across. Okay, so last night it got a little too dark to continue recording, but I'm almost done the door I was working on. I'll show you in a few seconds. But what we're doing today is we're going to load all pine wood chip in the back of the truck using the cargo unloader. If you want to see a video on this unloader, I'll leave it in the link in the description at the bottom. But here we have my hill of pine chips. These pine chips, I got them from, well, there's a lot of trees on this property and some of them had to go some of them were dead and some of them we just needed to get rid of because they, we needed more sunlight in the backyard so here we go we're going to load this up and i hear that the chickens love to dig and play with the pine to find bugs and all kinds of goodies to eat here's the door 
that I made. Um, the hardware is from Harbor Freight. I only paid a few bucks for these. But um, what I need to get is some type of spring so it doesn't slam open. What I'm gonna do now is cut some of this material down to size and staple it from the inside. And I need to get a handle. I'm pretty sure I have one in the garage somewhere. So I did make one mistake. I drilled my pocket holes on the outside of the door. But it's nothing that wood filler can't fix. Okay, so I heard her making a lot of noise. So it seems like she was laying an egg. And yep, they both laid eggs. Uh, for those of you that were wondering, this staple gun that I'm using, I purchased this on Amazon. It's a Wen brand. Um, I love it. It's for the price. I paid 26 bucks for this. You can see it here. The only scary thing about it, the only safety feature it has is right here. You just push this down and you can't pull the trigger. You lift that up. So when you're using this, just make sure that you're hitting your target. That's all I can say. Um, it will staple and shoot staples in the air. So just be careful. So the girls are working the garden. These are eggs we purchased at Sam's Club and we're taking them out to put the hen eggs that are being laid. Compared to the size, um, this is yesterday, the 27th. Let's compare the size from a store bought organic, what is it, a cage free brown egg versus this is our girls and this is store bought. Wow. Very healthy. As you can see, the first three eggs that they laid on the 21st, there's a little lighter cover in there. And I'm assuming when their protein levels went up, the eggs got healthier and healthier. Now they're nice and dark. These are the hen eggs and the store-bought egg. Let's compare it. The color of it is lighter. Oh wow, it is. As for the eggshells, we let them dry and we use it as compost. Okay, this is my first time eating the egg from our hens. Wow, pretty good. I've been reading, they say that it's healthier when you have the hens and, cause you know what they're eating. 
exactly and you know how they're raised and they say it's healthier eggs because the eggs you purchase at the supermarket have probably been it's probably a whole month or more before you even purchase them and get them to your home by the time it came from the farm to the store so these are like early morning eggs I purchased these rubber boots because lately it's been raining a lot and since I have to go out to the chicken coop all the time it was getting a little bit messy so I needed some real rubber boots got these for 50 bucks I'll be installing a dummy handle on this chicken coop One of them's taking a dust bath. I think I might have to get something bigger for her. Okay, my next step is what I'm building is the framing for the chicken coop section. I'm placing a door in this area. Let me back up so you can see where. So yeah, that's the next step for this project. Lisa. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> One of them got a slug, the other one's jealous. door is pretty much finished I just need to, need to get a little piece in here to fill in that gap now it's time to design some type of door for here I want to create something where I don't have to come inside the coop all the time to open and close it I'm thinking of some type of string system and then pull the string and then the door will open sideways here's the piece of plywood I'm gonna use So here's the door and I'm hoping this will work. So the way I'm opening it is I'm going to tie a string onto this knob that I put and drill a hole up here. And what I did was I put this bolt. The bolt wasn't long enough. I wanted to put two nuts on this, but until I find the right size bolt, I'll just use this for now. And I cut this piece of scrap wood. This will be here to be the stopper. So there you have it. That's the stopper. 
Now I'm going to put this piece here. I just got to cut it down to size. And the door will fall right into that lip. Have you laid any eggs yet? I laid down. Tell me to lay down. Tell that. Come on, lay down. Fire. Chicken. <laughs> uh oh. We got the fire ready, girls. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, it's a guard dog. Hi. <laughs> What you doing? It's not food. Dog not allowing here. I ditched that green string that I had. It wasn't working out. So I got this red cable that I had in the garage. Seems to be working good. I'm gonna see if I find some type of latch, maybe like a magnet latch or something. So when it grabs, locks in place there. I'm gonna play with it, adjusting it. But, it works. Well, I was digging in my garage and I found this little magnet latch here. I think this will do the job. It's not what I was looking for, but it's what I found. So let's see if it works. I'll be screwing this little piece here. And when the door closes, this piece of metal be here. And then the latch should grab that piece of metal have my metal piece in let's connect the magnet Really good. I'm happy with it. Perfect. So let me give you a quick tour of where I'm at so far. So this will be connecting their playground here to their coop. So what I'm doing is building another roof that pitches towards the back. As you can see, chickens are roaming around right now. Looking for goodies to eat. Okay, so the wire did not work. I tried string, I tried wire, but I'm taking a whole different approach, trying something different. What I'll be using today is I purchased some 1 16th wire rope and some wire rope crimpers.
and I also need some sort of handle so I'm taking this old water hose that leaks I'm gonna cut a piece off and see how that works out so what I'm going to do is fish my cable through first Okay, so now what we'll need is to use one of these aluminum sleeves and get our crimpers. These crimpers came with some sleeves as well. Nice. That's not going nowhere. And this too comes also with the cable cutter right here. So now I'm going to cut my handle out. Trying to see how much cable I should cut. I think that's good enough right there. A little extra won't hurt. Through. Oh, let's not forget the sleeve first. Off right there. Let's crimp this.
Okay, pull our handle. Nice. Perfect. So now what's left, I have to relocate my stopper here and put it more towards the bottom. Nice. Now the next step, I'm putting these brace in place, putting this here. Then I'm gonna go in the woods and find a stick that'll reach the other side so the chickens have a place to hang out at. Right guys? When you take the one that I already made, I thought you'd wanna doc doc document document. Here, handyman land. Once again. All right, so I'm putting the chicken wire now, and I have my new toy here. It's a hog ring pliers. So it's pretty simple. You just take one of your hog rings, drop it inside that groove right there. Open your pliers, there's a little groove in there. Drop your ring in, like so. Just find where you wanna make your connection and squeeze. That's it. Good morning. Y'all ready? Let's see if they laid their eggs. So they laid two eggs, one, two, this one here, this is the ceramic egg, it's their training egg, um, like that. When they're pecking, they learn not to break their own eggs, but yep, two eggs for today. So let me give you a little tour here, where we're at now. I finished putting up the chicken wire. I need to cut these and screw them on. Right now I just have them laying there. I'm still not done. I have a few more things to do especially the painting and my daughter said we should paint it white and red so I'll probably be looking for those cutters I still haven't gotten to the putting the vinyl panels on the roof yet and I need to make some modifications after watching a few other people's videos and seeing other people's comments um, they say I shouldn't have it like this So apparently when they lay their eggs, it should be not in the same area where they sleep. Summer, leave them alone. So far it's been working out great. Um, they seem to not mind. They are not pooping where they're laying their eggs, which is a, a good thing. Um, they usually hang out on this piece here that I put for them. So I'm thinking of making another attachment on this side. 
where we can open it up upward and reach in and grab the eggs so yes that's one modification that needs to be done another modification is I don't want to be going in here every morning the way I want to feed them is that I can just pour the food in and it goes into the PVC pipe and lands inside their bucket which is another thing I haven't made yet but as you can see I made a little hangout spot for them underneath the coop that I put some plastic just to keep it more dry in there when they're hanging out or if it's raining this here was the old um, cage that they were in when I first got them um, this is here just temporary I also need a better way of giving them their water which is another thing I need to work on um, it's a little difficult because now it's almost winter and we don't want the water freezing up on them I'm going to have to continue giving them water every day until the winter is over because when I wake up in the morning I'm noticing it's frozen plus the way we're giving them water right now is like this and I don't like that there is a better way of doing it and I purchased everything I'll also do that as well I'll show you that project as well but the door's been working great it's it's awesome um, them going up and down their ladder here is working great they seem to like it summer leave them alone and the way to clean the coop is on this side here where we could just pull the wheelbarrow up in this area and just scoop everything in but right now it's, it's still clean usually they bury the poop themselves so I don't have to do as much work anymore a few other things that I'm doing I'm getting all the stones that I have in the back and I'll be putting the putting the stones all the way around as for the chicken wire I have it sticking out from the bottom like that no predators can dig underneath and I'm going to be putting stones on top of this as well going all the way around until I'm done oh before I forget I also put some of this just to keep the heat in as you can see I put it there so it seems to be working good they don't peck on it they leave it alone just to keep it a little bit warmer I'll be putting up I'll be putting more around the coop and then in the summertime I'll remove all that so yeah there's um, a few more things I need to do a better way of feeding them a better way of giving them their water uh, finish the roof on this side there's another branch that I cut from the woods I'll be putting it underneath underneath the coop so they could have um, a place to hang out yeah so the other thing I want to get is one of those fake owls I want to put one up top um, it seems a few people say it seems to work um, to keep the hawks away so I'll probably be getting one of those soon as well so I guess for today I'll probably take a break on this I need to get um, firewood it's getting cold I gotta get ready for the winter so let me go pick up some firewood for the house all right so what I'm gonna do right now is put the rooftop on this spot here let me get this over with but it's cold outside I'm gonna cut these inside the shed
So here I have some hinges that I took off a storm door. I was doing a side job and the door was gonna go to the trash and these hinges still work. They're spring loaded, as you can see. I'm gonna use these on the coop because every time we open up the door, sometimes the wind slams it on us. Yep, so the springs are a success. Perfect. And we also installed this bird netting here to help prevent eagles and hawks getting inside and hurting my hens. If you want, I'll leave a link in the description of where I purchased this. It's pretty good. I like it. So here I'm going to end this video. I'm not done. It's 90% done. I have a few modifications I need to do, which is I need to finish the roof right here. I want to have at least a, a foot overlap for the roof. I want to build a box on the side so I could ex extract the hen's eggs a better way. I would like to purchase an owl to put on the top probably on this side I need to finish putting the stones all the way around the coop and we need to paint this the painting process will have to wait I'm um, probably around March or April so stay tuned and I'll continue making more videos on the hens and some of the things that I've started as well I do a separate video on the feeding and how I'm providing them water and like and subscribe hit that bell icon and I'll see you soon thank you for watching <laughs> <laughs>